learn to fight. Yo, John Fitch here, another edition of Learn to Fight for you. Today we've got some shenanigans in the schoolyard. Now this situation is something I would consider a uh, mutual declared combat. You have two students who show up in the schoolyard. Other students are looking out for teachers or, or people who might break things up in order for two people to fight. Doesn't look like it was a jumping. Doesn't look like this is self-defense. These two people, free of their own will, decided that they were going to fight in the schoolyard. And they're going to have people stand around to make sure that no teachers broke it up or any authority figures broke it up. The problem, though, is they're always friends of people in the fight and those people step in and they cheat they may cheat we're going to check this out you're going to see the dangers that are implied but we're also going to see some jujitsu we're going to see uh, jujitsu used well against a much bigger person uh, you're going to see some positions where they did a decent job of doing damage and could have done more damage fights like this should be avoided at all cost there's no reason for you to get into this type of skirmish or scuffle it's not necessary. Somebody hurt your pride, so what? Get them to go to the gym, sign a waiver. If they're a tough guy, if they're really tough, you need to settle it, have them sign a waiver. They can come in, that way you're legally not responsible for, for snapping their arm or choking them out. Do that. If they're not tough enough to, to sign the waiver, move on, move away. <laughs> you have better stuff to do with your life. Let's go and check this fight out so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Here we go out on the schoolyard. You see a bunch of people around, there are people looking around, making sure there's nobody going to get him busted, there's no teachers there, and then it's off. It's going. Big girl moves quickly, trying to slap the old red here, little red, and then they're uh, scrapping on the, on the ground. You can see they're surrounded by people. This is a dangerous situation. Any one of those people could decide to enter the fight at any time, start kicking and stomping people. You, you have no idea. It's a fight. People get emotional. People get fight. At, at MMA events because they're emotional and their guy's losing. You see here, uh, Big Girl did not know that Little Red had jiu-jitsu skills. She was able to get into a position here, a crude triangle. She's wisely striking from that triangle. You don't have to choke. You can do damage. All right, Knee Pads walks up. That's uh, Big Girl's friend. Knee Pads walks up and pulls Red's hair. You can't see him in screen, but a guy walked over and knocked her hand away and told her to back up. He, there's his legs now. There's knee pads and the guy in the jeans. Little Red gets on top, starts landing some ground and pound, looks for the choke, trying to sprawl her out, doing damage. And then knee pad steps in, right? She starts pulling the fight up, trying to break it up because she didn't like the way it was going. She didn't like how her guy was getting beat up badly on the ground because she's the person who thinks that grappling isn't good for self-defense or street fights, <laughs> apparently. And we get back into it. Little Red gets back on top, back to mount, back to doing damage. Knee pads, I think, grabbed another, another clinch of hair. Dangerous, dangerous to fight in big groups. Big knee pads walks back up. I don't know why she's wearing knee pads. Pulls her off. That was obviously the big girl's friend. Um, you gotta be careful. It could have been a, a boot to the face. Luckily there's some guy who was there with Little Red helping out. We'll go back to this, right? Crude, crude takedown, kind of fell to the ground sloppily, almost like a guard pull. But she's able to maneuver quickly uh, into a position where she's got a head and arm with her legs. Right? She's got like a high guard, girl's laying on her side. You see that, left, that right leg coming over the, the shoulder. Now she's got that triangle locked right here. If she wanted to do some damage, instead of hitting right here with those weak fists, she should have leaned in and elbowed. It's a great position to, you know, those pointed elbows from there. Uh, that's even legal in MMA. You can throw those legal, legal pointed elbows to the face from there. She should have done that. You see uh, knee pads stepped in, grabbed some hair. She's lucky she had at least one guy on her side or at least one person who believed in fair fights. If not, that could have been a two-on-one scenario real fast. And then Little Red is not going to come up on top like she did here. You can tell she's very rudimentary uh, skill set. She doesn't really understand the control. She's a white belt. She's definitely a white belt. But a little bit of, of training, a little bit of training, and she's able to handle this girl. She tries to get away. The girl comes back after her. It's on again. Sweep, mount, 
Give him some, give him some fists. Yep, that was definitely another hair pull. Okay, people cheat. People cheat. This is what happens. All right, it was a quick little fight. Let you guys see the utilization of some very basic jiu-jitsu skills. Knowing a little bit of jiu-jitsu, knowing a little bit of how to fight goes a long, long way. Much bigger, stronger opponent there. This is a fight that never should have happened. There's no reason for you to get into these type of fights. It's stupid. It's some Bad things can happen. She was lucky. That's luck. The uh, knee pads could have knee bombed her, kicked her in the face, stabbed her. There's all kinds of sorts of things that she could have done because she was getting emotional and her friend was getting beat up. You, you don't want to do that. Go to a gym, sign up, sign the waiver, fight with people in there. Avoid, avoid fights, avoid schoolyard fights, avoid fights in public. You don't need to do that crap. You're not going to get a trophy or a belt or money. You're not protecting your pride. You turn yourself into a joke. Somebody's going to watch your videos of you rolling around like a dummy and laugh. You might get sued. You might hurt somebody bad and go to prison. Really not worth it. Really not worth it at all. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and the best thing you can do is share the video with your friends. Friends, families, everybody's. Do it. Check the programs and the links in the description below. I'll check you all later.